Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, April 21, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 13, 2023, our system has ranked Apple as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.59. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. During this period, the stock has outperformed our expectations, with a gain of 9.67% since we first recommended buying Apple 29 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.33% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 15.08% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 10.27% and 17.4%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 0.622% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 23.58% and 2.22%. This translates to a price range of $126.10 to $168.68 after a year. Our latest daily update for Apple includes the headline, Apple stock price ended on $165.02 on Friday after losing 0.98%. The Apple stock price fell by minus 0.98% on the last day, Friday, April 21, 2023, from $166.65 to $165.02. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.19% from a day low at $164.49 to a day high of $166.45. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still up by 0.22% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 6 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 58 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $9.59 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $176.15, and the lowest price was $124.17. Currently, the price is 6.32%, or $11.13, below the 52-week high, and 27.71%, or $63.24, below the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Raymond James set a price target of 170. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Wedbush set a price target of 180. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. Analysts have given Apple stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Apple. The Apple stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $165.97. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $159.37. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. 
Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, April 19, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 1.56%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 14 days ago. Short term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 31 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average, buy signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 59 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages buy signal 55 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Apple On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $155 and $154.50. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Apple finds support just below today's level at $155. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $154.50 and $150.82. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $1.96 between high and low, or 1.19%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.21%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2023 is expected on April 26, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.43. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Apple. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $165.56. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Apple encounters its first support level at $155. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Condo Chris, who bought and sold 23,890 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 35.310. Overall, Insiders purchased 1,816,637 shares and sold 3,792,074 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $159.14, minus 3.56%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found two days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Apple holds several negative signals and this should be a sell candidate, 
but due to the general chance for a turnaround situation it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, April 24th, we expect Apple to open up $0.301 and start trading at $165.32. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.